Hi guys, in this video I'm going to explain some fundamentals of, um, of, how, an, of how an automobile engine uh, operates or works. And I think I'm going to do a video series of that matter. Uh, I'm going to take it step by step. And I'm going to start today with the basics. And it all starts, you have a cylinder, something like that. Okay, that's the cylinder. In that cylinder, there's something called a piston. A piston? That's a piston. That's the con rod of the piston, or connection rod, or connecting rod, con rod. And that rod, that rod is attached, I'm just gonna do it very simply here, to the crankshaft. So, what you have here, at the top, you have two channels. I'm just gonna draw them like that. One is the inlet channel, one is the exhaust channel. And right in the middle, you've got a spark plug. All right, so how an engine works is the following. Through the inlet, I'm just, I'm just gonna change some colors. Let's use another color. Let's use one on red. Through the inlet, you get a mix of fuel and air. Fuel plus air. And that gets, you see the piston goes down and sucks in that mixture of fuel and air. So when a piston goes up again, what it does, it compresses that mixture. See, the piston goes this way, up and down the whole time, like a plunger, up and down the whole time. And the piston, what a piston, the piston, how the piston is activated is through this crankshaft. Crankshaft is, 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 is pushing the piston up and down the whole time. So when a piston goes up, it's basically compressing all that mixture in one tight uh, spot and when, when the piston's really at the top here, at the top of its, uh, of its uh, uh, movement, that spark plug emits a spark. And that spark, as you can imagine, uh, um, will, will, will make that mixture explode. And this explosion, this explosion or combustion, is what pushes that piston down and thus moves the crankshaft. And as you can see here, the crankshaft moves the piston because that crankshaft is moved by other cylinders in that engine. And at the same time, once that explosion takes place here, that piston also moves the crankshaft. So when a piston, now explosion took place, the piston is being pushed down, thus moving that crankshaft, and then that crankshaft is turning, and again, after the, the piston reached the bottom position, it's be, the crankshaft pushes the piston back up. In that time, combustion has ended, and all you got here is like exhaust gases, and the piston is now pushing up, and inlet is being shut, and but exhaust, the exhaust channel is being open, and thus, all that exhaust gas is being then emitted into the exhaust system or into the atmosphere. So that's basically how a, how, a, how a car engine works. Now obviously in a car engine you've got more than one cylinder because when this cylinder is exploding and going down, it's moving, it itself is moving the crankshaft and in turn moving another cylinder up. To compress its own mixture. So when that when that other cylinder explodes, 
and and it has combustion and is get it gets pushed down that other cylinder moves the crankshaft to move this cylinder up in order for a compression uh, in uh, in order for it to compress its own mixture so as you can see an engine can have multiple cylinders actually the more cylinders you've got the smoother an engine works and the more power it produces and obviously the more fuel it consumes and uh, that's basically the way uh, an, an internal combustion engine works I'm going to explain in other videos uh, more about these channels. I mean, how they're activated, how they're controlled, because you haven't got here channels. Actually, what you got here are valves. But I'm going to explain that in another video.